A critical shortage of nurses could soon leave Minnesota hospitals understaffed. One estimate found that nearly 30,000 new nurses will be needed in just the next three years. WCCO's Barrett Leone explains what's causing the crisis and how schools hope to help treat the problem. It's felt nationwide. I know a lot of units are really affected by staffing. Um, we are as well in the ICU. And in Minnesota, nursing staff shortages are now dire. It's affecting everyone everywhere. Because of um, the pandemic, the shortage has grown. But this shortage has been going on for years. Our nursing profession is changing out there from being a mostly full-time profession to having people retire and people work part-time which means we need to graduate even more nurses. Right now, Minnesota needs more than 28,000 new licensed practical nurses and registered nurses within the next three years. Let's get everyone to the table and see if we can figure out some solutions to the current problem we're in. Here's your call light. Now, a step toward the solution. As University of Minnesota and Minnesota schools are coming together to work with every school of nursing in the state, both public and private, and calling it the Coalition for Nursing Equity and Excellence. We need to reimagine how we're going to teach nursing because we need more nursing faculty um, and we're we need to take in students who maybe we never took in before. With a goal to help a critical career at a critical point. The more nursing educators we can have, the more students they can get through the programs and the sooner we can be working. No, no. Barrett Leone, WCCO 4 News. Industry leaders tell us this is even more of an issue in greater Minnesota with some programs limiting enrollment simply because they don't have enough staff.